Assalamu alaikum. In this session, we will try to learn about data validation. What is data validation? It is nothing but only putting condition on your descriptive data as well as numerical data. Here we can see an uh, admission form where we will try to give admission in different grades, grade 6, grade 7 and grade 8, but on the basis of certain conditions. What are conditions? They are actually validation commands. So for grade 6, we will put criteria for age or age criteria for grade 6. What does it mean? Suppose a boy or a girl, if he or she is between age 9 and 11, they will be eligible for admission, otherwise not. For this purpose, we will click on data tab and then data validation which you can find in data tools. And this is a group. Here, once you click, you can find setting and setting. The first option that is allow, you will click on the drop down button and choose whole number. Because we have to calculate the age in whole number, not in decimal year. Then data, yes, we will click between because the age we will take uh, between 9 and 11 for grade 6. I'm talking about grade 6. Minimum 9, yes, it is already written here, and 11. The boy, he or she must be between 9 and 11. Now I'm going to click OK. The criteria has been applied here, or you can say validation. If I type here 5, uh, not 5, suppose 8, a boy, Ahmed, he came to grade 6 and he wants to get admission, but his age is 8 years. Look, it gives an error and the message is, sorry, your child is under or over age. Under age or over age. Now we can see here it is 8, it means that he is under age. And I'll type here, suppose 12. Now the message says, sorry, your child is over age. Under and over mean, now this time we will say he is over age. So let me type another one, 10. Yes. Why it is accepted? Because 10 comes or falls between 9 and 11. Similarly, I will put another criteria for grade 7. Highlight these rows. Click on data validation. And the remaining setting will be same. Only we will click here. The minimum for grade, uh, grade 7 is 11 years minimum if he or she is between 11 and 13 he will be eligible suppose i'm going to type here 10 a boy he is getting a admission in grade 7 and he is 10 years old but but my data doesn't allow him for admission why because he is below underage now if i type here 18 again there will be an error why because he is over age so for grade 7 i have chosen or i have set a criteria 12 years 11 and 13 in between 11 and 13 so he is 12 year he is eligible now for grade 8 I'm going to set a criteria click on data validation and the remaining setting will be same only here if a boy is between 12 and 14 he will be eligible for admission suppose let me type here 13 so the the table will accept him clear now let's uh, define some criteria or some conditions for uh, date, date and time uh, sorry not time but date so highlight this because date will be same for all of them suppose i would like to announce that we will give admission from january 1st or january 2nd till january 25th or 28th so let's see click on data validation and any value not any value we will type here or choose here date starting date again here we will set between because we will start or we will give admission from January 3rd 2020 and then the admission will stop January 27 2020 
and OK. Now let's see, suppose here one boy came to grade 8, his name is suppose uh, any name. Mm. I'll type here a name. Uh, okay, let me change the color that you should see clearly. Okay. Okay. Why it's giving an error? Because I applied here a condition or a validation for uh, text length. I put more than three uh, text. Therefore, it's giving us uh, an error, but I will type here. Hmm. Ijaz and he came to school and his age is suppose 14 and he came to school on the January 2nd 2020 see why because uh, why the error comes here because the the condition was between 3rd January and 27 January I'm going to change this and I'll type here first January January 6 2020 yes he is eligible on 6 January if someone comes to our school we will give him admission now here suppose another boy for uh, Usman in grade 6 he came and he wants to get admission in grade 6 and it is today it is 10th of January so January 10th 2020 we can see also he is accepted uh, the table has accepted him already so you can see so here you saw that Usman has been accepted because he satisfies the condition now let's see data validation for a descriptive data here in this column I'll set a list from where the parents the customer the clients they will choose their nationality if they satisfy our condition they will be eligible to get admission otherwise no so as i have highlighted this i'll click on data tab then um, data validation and here i'll click list okay before clicking on this list let me quickly introduce to you these options the first one any any value any value mean no no validation or no condition whole number from zero till uh, from zero till infinity then decimal 2.5 3.5 2.3 etc list now we will do it date as we did last time or before this time suppose you want also to put a condition on time suppose 6 pm is the deadline after that no uh, entry will be accepted and then text length as you saw here this text length this ijaz i before this ijaz i wrote here ali and as i typed ali here it gave me an error because in this text length i give uh, the length between 4 and 20 if a name is exceeding 20 words or it is less than three letters the computer will not accept him so you saw the application now let's see this list list as I selected now I will choose a list from my worksheet I have typed already for you these six countries Pakistan India Saudi Arabia and Egypt Sudan and Turkey we are going to accept in the first year students from these countries next year maybe we will change our criteria but this year our validation will be restricted only to these six countries and I'll click on OK. Clear. Now suppose Usman came to our school and he wants to get admission, but he is from India. Yes, he has been accepted. Another one, this one, Tariq came and uh, Tariq is from Sudan. Yes, computer will accept him also. Why? Because he satisfies the condition. So my friends, here you saw the use of validation command and uh, also you came to know that what is it actually. Again, if there is any problem, you can please type in the comment box. Uh, inshallah, I'll 
give your response there and then. Thank you very much.